Well, wildlife rehabilitators and ambassadors play an important role when it comes to educating people and preserving the planet. Terry Belke explains as he takes us to the outdoors. Eagles epitomize the freedom and power of nature. Graceful while soaring, eagles are at the same time unmatched hunters with almost no natural predators save man. Despite their strength and beauty, more than 30 eagle species, nearly half of all species of eagles, are considered vulnerable, threatened, or endangered. The Varose eagle, or African black eagle, is native to a very limited region, mostly in South Africa. Onyx is a new resident at Hawk Creek Wildlife Center. Born out west earlier this year, he's been a member of the Hawk Creek family since he was four weeks old. He comes to us all the way from Oklahoma, where our partners, uh, SIA, which is the Comanche Nation Ethno-Ornithological Initiative, uh, they are leading eagle conservation experts from around the world. They have partnerships around the world uh, working to conserve eagles globally. The Varroa's eagle is one of Africa's largest. Onyx is an immature bird, about eight months old, and his beautiful plumage now will look much different in a few years. He is going to lose that over the next about four years, and it will be interesting to see him as he changes his plumage. Typically, it takes about four to five years, uh, just like our bald eagles, for them to get their adult plumage, which is going to be jet black with uh, yellow marks on the face, around his eyes, his beak, his feet, and a white V on his back. These eagles are one of the few to hunt together, teaming up to pursue their main and very specific prey, a groundhog-like mammal called the rock hyrax. The Varro eagle is one of the few eagles that truly hunts cooperatively, and often it's one of the pair, they live in pairs, one of the pair will go and start soaring, and the rock hyrax will be so focused on that bird that's visible and soaring, they miss its partner that's been waiting and using the lay of the land to fly low to the ground and around objects to sneak up on the hyrax. Now Onyx will work in tandem with his human caregivers to act as an ambassador. He's already charming young children lucky enough to meet him. So these children were so engaged in learning about him and they were just so drawn in by his personality that the teaching moment was laid right out on a platter for me. Those opportunities to inspire are the thing that make animal ambassadors so crucial in environmental education. Regal predators, unable to return to the wild, acting as emissaries and creating new stewards in the process. This creates a personal connection and creates empathy for other living beings. And that is something that when you watch the news, you can see we need in this world more than ever. So to have the opportunity to cultivate that in our youth is an amazing privilege and an honor that's not to be wasted. Taking you to the outdoors, I'm Terry Belke.